Hello everyone and what I'm going to be doing in this quick little video is showing uh, the patch that was used for the live music performance. So basically this is a dub siren and let me put it in presentation mode. This is how it's going to open up by default. By default it is turned on so as soon as you open it up it will output music. You need to press the trigger. and you'll hear the output. Okay, so how's it work? Well, the minimum thing you're going to need and what I added from it, because you can see here that this was, this is a Max for Live object that was based upon a VST object and this URL right here will give you an overview of how to recreate it. And basically it actually has three oscillators now because that's what I added to it or excuse me, two oscillators and two LFOs. And the minimum that you need to make it run, you can see everything is turned off here except for the volume, is this tri-pitch that I added, and then this, which is pure uh, amplitude modulation. It's a unipolar signal. It sends both these out together, and if you add in uh, some sine waves, it'll send that through as well. But it takes these two signals, it'll add them together, then anything else that was in there, It'll multiply that together, multiply it again by this pulse rate. And what this does is if you turn on the chopper, whenever the signal goes into the negative range, which you'll see right here, it will stop. It'll cancel itself out. And so you get, instead of a continual signal, you get wub, wub, wub. So, and then it sends all that through through this tan H object. This actually isn't necessary, but I left it in there anyway. Then, that signal gets routed through a uh, basically to a biquad filter. If you turn on this random metro over here, I'll put a randomizing signal which will sweep left to right. It's another thing I added in there. But then it gets taken into this biquad so that let's go into our oops, let's go into our presentation mode right here. Let's listen to it again. Trigger it. This controls the pitch by the way. If you look to your left, you'll see how the tri pitch and the pitch keeps changing. That's what that does. But let's give it a listen. Turn on my trigger. You can hear it go to the higher side. Now if I take this, and now if I up the resonance, let's grab it, creates an entirely unique audio effect. And you can use this to sweep it. Now the way I controlled this in the live uh, demo, in the live performance, was to route all this through MIDI objects, which is what I recommend. I really recommend using a MIDI keyboard or some sort of volume controller, routing these signals through, and all you gotta do is put them into the input to each of these pieces, and then what you end up getting is the ability to turn it on and turn it off. Here's all the presets, and then what those presets allow you to do basically is either turn on the chopper and then hit the trigger, Now another thing I added is just attack decay because one of the problems I had with it with this uh with this patch was that normally listen it attacks too fast. Now listen to this, I'm gonna throw in one second attack decay. So now it takes a second to hit and a second to decay. So that way it sounds a little more musical whenever you play it live because otherwise like it, it, it overwhelms it attacks way too fast. I think I put this at around 1.5 is a better yeah is a better parameter for that. The panner timer is how fast or how slow you want it to go up because actually if you turn it up higher every two seconds this will jump so it'll sweep left to right. If you turn it all the way down oops that doesn't do anything really but if you put it at like 16 you'll see it kinda like jitters all over the place because it's receiving the signal very quickly then put it basically back in the middle to control that which is controlled by this dial right here and then there's your volume very handy to have it on live performance because you're never sure what your output is and pretty much that's it so another thing very quickly to pin to this is also I have this thing called the crunch factor over here let me see if that ends up in my presentation yeah it should 
And what that does is so let me play a key here with the uh, crunch factor set very low. I'll put it up to 1.25. Hit it, trigger it. You're hearing the drrr, that very quick attack. That's because this tri pitch is uh, a very low 0.25. It's a very low. Um, what is the word? It's a very low multiple of this uh, pitch signal that's being output right there. If I crank this up, it's going to turn into more of a siren sound. Let me retrigger, and you hear what happened. So that's the other thing is this crunch factor here and how it relates to either getting more of a sireny sound or more of a um, sort of sound.